Lord, we declare to you that we are yours. Right here in your holy presence, in the congregation of your saints, we declare to you that we are yours. We exalt the name of Jesus. We magnify you. We bless you. We thank you for your presence in this place. We thank you for your glory that overshadows this house. And we thank you because there is a shift in the atmosphere. We thank you for showers of your rain, the rain of your presence, the rain of your blessings upon us. And we thank you for what you are doing tonight in our lives. Let your name alone be exalted. Could you lift your hands to him? You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. The presence of God is so strong in this place. To you I You are awesome in this place Hallelujah Just lift your hands in reverence of His presence yeah. The glory of the Lord is in this place. Sing it again.
just be still everywhere every time the presence of God comes in the place it is important that we learn to lay aside everything open up our hearts and receive that which he is about to do a scripture just came through my mind while we sang that song the Lord God in the midst of his people is mighty that means the power of God is in this place right now this is a place of encounter a place where you experience the power of Jesus and that power is real in this place when the power of God comes you are guaranteed of transformation you are guaranteed of change you are guaranteed of stepping into a new level of grace a new anointing a new anointing that allows you to function you are worthy to just lift your hands there are seven people that the power of God is going to rest upon right now I just heard a shout in my left ear and this shout is from a lady I just heard a shout right now there are seven people the hand of God is coming on you right now and God is about to turn 360 God is about to turn your life around 360 that's what I see the power that is able to turn around everything that looks like a storm in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy every storm over your life comes to an end right now it comes to an end now the glory we worship you, our Lord. You are worthy. There are three people the spirit of prophecy is coming on. And that's because it's a new season. For a number of people here, yeah, it is a new season. He told Elijah, go show yourself to Ahab and I will send rain. The appearance of the prophetic is the appearance of a new season. And there are three people here that the spirit of prophecy is coming on right now. And it's going to be so strong wherever they are i release i release that grace i release that grace step into a new level i open that new season over your life now every door that has been shut i declare effort be open be open let there be open heavens now every heaven that has been closed all by your life every season of dryness every season of spiritual dryness let the rain of the glory of god break up break forth upon you right now and let the heavens be open you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be praised, my Redeemer. You are worthy to. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, my Redeemer. You are. Worthy to be praised you are worthy to be praised worthy to be praised my man you are worthy to be praised you are worthy to be just the strings you are worthy to I'm doing something I know what I'm doing My, you are worthy 
Your name is higher above all the names. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Your name is higher above all the names. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Lift your hands. I want to sing it one more time. Your name is higher above all the names. Your name is Jesus your name is Lord your name is higher above all the names your name is Jesus your name is Lord please lift your hands when I was coming in the car I saw the number 17 and God said there are 17 people here it is a season of speed for you wait shh, just hold on now the hand of God will come on some people and they'll literally begin to run as a sign that God is visiting those 17 people it will happen at the count of three by the wind of the Holy Ghost one two that hand that came upon Elijah and he outran the chariots of Ahab. I declare in the name of Jesus, by the right hand of power, speed, speed, speed. And now three, 17 of you step into that season. Just hold them. They will, they will literally begin to run. Step into that season of speed. Every obstacle, every yoke, every chain of darkness that has held you bound. I declare, let it be broken. And right now, I prophesy, speed, 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 speed. Take it up for me. I want to sing a song. Allahuakbara is turning things around. Allah is turning to I prophesy to you. I know what I'm seeing. I know what I'm seeing. Allah is turning things around. Listen. Allah has turned things around. Oh Lord, Papa has turned things around for my good. Let me prophesy to ten families represented here. Every season of delay, every season of prolonged delay, by the hand of he that had the key of David, that opens the door and no man shuts. He shuts and no man opens. I declare that season is over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Let the hand of God, that is the hand of power, turn your life around 360. From delay, I prophesy lifting. From delay, I prophesy speed. From delay, I prophesy divine acceleration. Step into that grace now. Step into that grace now. Take that grace now. God is showing me two ladies here. I see an angel anointing, putting something like an anointing on your eyes. He's putting something like an anointing on your eyes. You have been in a place of intercession for long. And now God is coming to increase your ranking. And he's doing it by the gift of sight. I declare, Karo Shabranda Kata. By the eyes of him whose eyes are like fire. Let that grace come upon you now. Step into that discerning grace. That seer dimension. That seer anointing. Let your eyes open. See. See. See into. 
into the realm of the spirit. See beyond the impossibilities. See beyond the obstacles. See beyond the mountain that has been standing against you. I declare, take that grace now. Take that grace now. I want to declare it again because he told Abraham when the Bible says in Genesis 13 when Lot was separated from Abraham God told him he said from where you are not from not from where you have gone to not from where you will get to he said from where you are lift up your eyes not your legs not your hand lift up your eyes as far as your eyes can see all the land I will give to you take that grace for sight that gift of sight that will cause you to see beyond the impossibility rest upon your life now let it rest upon your life now I empower your vision and from today step into a new place of faith by the spirit a new place of dominion a new place of vision for expansion for increase It seems like the prayers we prayed has created a lot of openings in the spirit. I saw five people here. Listen to me. I saw five people here between now and November. I saw miracle jobs. Strange. In fact, for two, one or two of you as I'm seeing, I've seen that you are already working now. But I saw an, on another opening and among these five, one of them, at least one, will travel. I want to prophesy by he that had the key of David that opens a door and no man shut every door that has been before you that has been closed the doors over your destinies let me speak over your destiny now I declare let every door open up now for your destiny open up now for your destiny open up now for your destiny I stand over the gates of your destiny that has been shut and I declare, he said, for he has broken the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. Every gate of your destiny that has been closed, I declare, be open now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Wave your hands to heaven. You are glorious, so glorious in your You are glorious now, you are glorious, so glorious in your way. This is an impartational service. You are glorious, say you are glorious, so glorious in your Yahweh, 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 you are glorious, so glorious, I'm still prophesying over you by the mantle of favor that is over this house. I declare anyone here whose destiny has been held bound you are you are you are you are you are behind time according to God's program you are supposed to be beyond where you are now I'm praying in the name of Jesus between now and the end of this year by the mantle of favor and by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I fast track your destiny I shift your destiny to another place I shift you to a new place of grace I shift you to a new place of grace you have been crawling for long I want to prophesy he said they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength he said they shall mount up with wings as eagle if you have been crawling in any aspect of your life Grace is released tonight and I declare, instead of walking or running, you will fly from today. I declare you will fly from today. 
between now and the end of the year do what you couldn't do in five years do what you couldn't do in two years do what you couldn't do in ten months receive that grace for exploits receive that grace for exploits in the name of jesus some of you are here but let me pray for your siblings you are here and you're trusting god probably because you have siblings that you feel life has not been fair to them they have been held in certain places some of them very good some of them intelligent some of them have what it takes but for long the doors have refused to open i want to speak by the power of priesthood I, con I use you to connect to your siblings. I don't know why I'm praying this prayer. But in the name of Jesus, anyone connected to you by blood that has been held in one spot for long, let the grace to shift men come on their life now. The grace that relocates men from the backside of the desert to the palace, let that grace rest upon them now. The grace that took Joseph after 13 years of delay in one night from a prisoner he became a prime minister i declare take that grace now let that grace elevate them now let that grace shift their destinies now in the name of jesus christ and i want to pray for your spiritual life everything that has been like a yoke every spirit that has oppressed you in that aspect every time you try to rise something and i feel the anointing coming on seven people now as i'm talking already i feel fire already i see the anointing coming on seven people every time you try to rise something pulls you down either it's an addiction or a habit or it's laziness or it's the spirit of slumbering every force that has been over your spiritual life seeking to hold you down seeking to stop you from entering the next level of grace to enter the next level of the anointing i paralyze those forces now i say i paralyze those forces now and i declare let the anointing of the holy ghost rest upon your life for today step into a new dimension of grace a new dimension of the anointing ministry shifts for you now ministry shifts for you now fire upon your prayer altar now fire upon your prayer altar i declare the grace to travel the grace to travel the grace to grow the grace to stay in prayer until something is born i declare take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now every spiritual gift in your life that has been dormant up till now you know you have it but it has refused to manifest by the fire that comes from the throne room i declare let those gifts be activated now let the giftings of the spirit be activated in your life let the giftings be activated now I'm still praying that prayer again by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let those giftings be activated now. Be activated now. Be activated now. Bring the three young men. Listen, listen. There are three men I see now that the power of God is coming on they will literally shake everything around them there are three of them i'm seeing them just bring them out i want to prophesy it's the gift of faith the gift of faith that moves mountains in the name of jesus christ i activate that gift now the gift that will make you become the breaker for your family that will make you become the breaker for your community that will make you become the one that brings the breakthrough I declare let that gift be activated now I activate the gift of faith now bring them for me
Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. I know things fall. Holy Spirit, you're my helper. I'll always depend on you. I need you more each day my life depends. Just be still everywhere. I know why I'm singing. Holy Spirit, you're my helper. I always depend on you. I need you more Each day my life Depends on you I see the wind of the Holy Ghost blowing now And there are people that that wind will blow around God is about to mantle you with his presence He's about to spread his wings over you. And from today, you'll begin to experience intimacy. Tangible intimacy. The presence of God will become real to you. It's coming on some people now. It's coming on some people now. The presence of God will become so real to you. And because of that, you will live a life of signs and wonders 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 so let the fire from your presence touch my body let the fire from your altar touch my soul let the fire from your presence touch my body yes lord let the fire from your throne room touch my life let the fire from your presence touch my life <laughs> let the fire from your altar touch my soul father i stretch my hands over these three young men outside i declare let that fire that mantle of the spirit of faith rest upon them strange activities of the spirit of god strange and miraculous happenings will proceed from your life from today in the name of jesus let that fire rest upon them now your life will never remain the same after tonight there are moments of encounter there are moments of experiences in the presence of god and when it comes it makes you another man he told Saul Samuel said and the spirit will come upon you and you will become another man he said then when this happens do as occasion demands I declare over your life from today you cease to be normal you cease to be natural you cease to be normal the fire that makes you supernatural let it begin to burn in your life from today let it begin to burn in your life from today and i declare undeniable results undeniable exploits undeniable happenings by the spirit of god in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ blessed be your name lift your hands and magnify the lord 
What an evening. We bless the Lord tonight. We give Him all the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Just thank Him for one minute. Just thank Him. You may not know, but something has changed over your life. The atmosphere over you is no longer the same. He said they go from strength to strength. Each one that appears before God in Zion. Read on me, O oh Lord, read on me. I have made up my mind to serve you forever. Read on me, O oh Lord, read on me. Read on me, O oh Lord, read on me. tonight we ask that this dimension of your presence that we have received will continually brood over our lives brood upon us and recreate brood upon us and re-strategize brood upon us and command transformation around our lives thank you for taking us from glory to glory as by your spirit blessed be your great name in jesus name can we clap for the lord what an amazing amazing moment in the presence of the lord hallelujah amen please stand just stand keep standing we are done tonight Please just keep standing everywhere. Sincerely, I want to apologize for coming late. Our flight was delayed by three hours. And uh, we are hoping that the aviation sector in Nigeria will be healed in Jesus' name. But it's a good thing to be here. And how many of us believe that something has happened in your life? You may not see anything in the physical, but you can sense the cloud like the size of the fist of a man. And I want to declare to you that a new season has opened up for us here. Not us as individuals alone, but in your respective families and as a ministry, a new season has opened for us. And I want you to know that this will be the season of tremendous increase and abundance. Not only increase in physical or material things alone, but even in grace. The Bible says in Psalms 115 verse 14, it says that the Lord increase you more and more. It says the end of a matter is better than the beginning. And though thy beginning was small, yet your latter end shall greatly increase. Because we are at that prophetic moment, we are at the end of the year. Therefore, this is a season of supernatural increase. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. 
I charge you to go back to the things that have not been working before and get ready to see undeniable exploits. And I prophesy over you that from today, your life will be nothing short of a sign and a wonder. You will be a sign and a wonder to your generation. In Jesus' name. Please keep standing just for two minutes. I want to make an altar call before we are done. I may not have preached, but the presence of Jesus is here and is real in this place. Please keep standing and just be still everywhere. Please just be still everywhere. When we make altar calls, we are not doing it simply because it's a religious exercise. Being born again is a peculiar experience that must happen in the life of an individual who must walk with God and must see God bring to pass his purposes in his or her life. To be born again means to believe in your heart that the Lord Jesus died and was rose again by the power of the Spirit of God and then to confess with your mouth salvation if this has not happened in your life at any point then you are not born again he said for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession public confession before men that jesus becomes your lord and your savior it is at that point that your life in the flesh dies and the life of the Spirit of God is transmitted into you. That is when you truly become born again. You will know when you see a man that is born again, there is a difference. There is a change from the inside out. Old habits are dealt with by the power that is now at work in him. Addictions, yokes of every kind that the enemy has held him bound with are broken. He begins to live a life that is powered by the Spirit of God. And while we all stand here, for those of us here and those following online from different parts of this nation, if you are here, I want to make this altar call passionately. If you are here and you have not truly made Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life, you have not publicly confessed Jesus in a gathering like this as your Lord and your Savior. Or perhaps you are here, you used to be born again, but the pressures of life, many things happened and you backslided particularly for some of us who are students who were on break some things happened your spiritual life went down and you don't really know if you have anything called a christian life now if you are not ashamed god wants to give you a new beginning a new season first of all starts with giving your heart to the lord rededicating your life to him and then starting afresh with god there is always a new beginning there is never an end i want you to wherever you are in just 20 seconds lift your hands so that we can lead you to the lord jesus there's a hand already lifted god bless you please celebrate them if you need to make jesus your lord and savior or you want to rededicate your life please lift your right hand up let me just see you god bless you lead them to come let them come let them come if your hand is lifted just make your way to the front god bless you don't be ashamed it's time to start afresh with the lord the third set of people that will join them if you are here you you are born again quite all right but you have been struggling with all kinds of addictions all kinds of habits that has wrecked your spiritual life you know right now you no longer when you pray you no longer feel the presence of god you don't feel any form of connection with god God wants to save you the Bible says I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus for it is the power unto salvation I see the power of God coming on somebody very strong I don't know but it looks like a deliverance that is going to happen in just a few seconds I just saw something like wind just move the power of God is going to come on somebody listen very carefully if you are if you know you are here don't be ashamed I'm not going to mention it and you don't have to mention it there are things you are struggling with that has brought down your spiritual life and you no longer feel any contact with God when you pray. Wherever you are, please join them in the front. It doesn't matter whether you are a pastor, you are a minister, you are a worker, whatever it is. Throw that shame away and then come to Jesus. God is about to break that yoke over your life and set you free. Please clap as they come. I know there will be more than five. I know there will be more than five. If you are not ashamed, just come. 
It's not about you. It's about a yoke that must be broken. But first of all, you must connect to his saving grace. Keep clapping. I know there are people that must still come. Come while you can. Don't struggle. Don't be held under the clutches of that affliction or that addiction. Come and let Jesus break the power of that yoke over your life and set you free. My lifetime, I will give God my lifetime. If I give God my lifetime, He will take care of me. Do you believe it? He will never, never let me down. I will give God my lifetime. Please, those of you in the congregation, stretch your hands towards them. I want you to stretch your hands towards them. Let's pray for them. Let's pray for them that the power of salvation will not only save them, but will keep them. Stretch your hands and pray. You didn't come out because you are saved. Now stretch your hands and ask for that saving grace that is in the knowledge of Jesus. Rest upon them, not only to salvage them, but also to plant them, to keep them established in the faith. To keep them until Christ is formed in them. Those of you in front, I want you to put your right hand on your chest and just repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I believe that you died and rose again that I will be saved I repent of my sin I accept eternal life and I thank you for saving me I declare that I am yours now and forever in Jesus mighty name keep your right hand on your chest I'm still praying for you Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, let that power that was in the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary, that power to forgive sins rest upon their life. And by that power I declare, according to the authority of scripture, that their sins are forgiven. I declare that their past is over. I declare that they have a new life with you. I declare that eternal life comes into them right now. And I declare that they will be established. They will be planted. They will grow from strength to strength. From grace to grace. And from glory to glory. In Jesus mighty name.